Question is a 12 year old child presents with mental retardation and a history of self mutilation which of the following test will help in determining the diagnosis so uh, first of all i will i would like to discuss a case it's a case of lask nihan syndrome so the lask nihan syndrome it's a deficiency of hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase that is hgprt is and it is one of the x linked genetic condition so in that case the salvage pathway is altered so that's why there will be accumulation of uh, prpp that cannot be utilized for the salvaging of uh, nucleoside and nucleotides so that's why there is defect in the dna synthesis and apart from that that prpp takes the alternate pathway for the production of uric acid so patient may manifest mainly as two symptoms that is one is neurological symptoms so patient has severe neurologic disease characterized by self mutilating behavior such as leap and finger biting and or head banging and apart from that as the accumulation of prpp that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate it takes the alternate pathway for the production of uh, uric acid and uh, it melts to gout so when you try to investigate the patient of lasknian syndrome the most ideal and most reliable technique that is a chromosomal karyotyping but apart from that you will find the very high serum uric acid level due to the increase the prpp and ultimately leads to high uric acid level and also you will find the uric acid crystals in the urine so now we again go through the history there will be a history of mental retardation and uh, apart from that there is a self mutilation so the patient might be suffering from lasknihan syndrome